Hello and welcome to a new video about pressure measurement. This time we are talking about liquid column measurement. We are here in my lab and we are going to see one liquid column pressure measurement gauge for real. Okay, so this is a liquid column pressure measurement gauge as industry grade one, a real measurement device, not just some game. Yeah? We are now to we are not allowed to use this with the pupils anymore because for I don't know for whatever reason uh, the poisonous mercury is not allowed to go close to the pupils. Okay, they are not allowed to handle this. However, I can still show you how this is working. Okay, on one side we do have the reference pressure. Yeah? It's marked here with minus, and the reference pressure can even be measured with such Bourdon tube measurement device. We will talk about those type of devices later. All right. So this is very accurate. You see 0 0.01 bar. This is quite an accurate device. Reference pressure. Here it's written reference pressure. And so this is the minus side. And on the plus side, we can apply pressure. Like said, it is not in use anymore in real life. Yeah? However, I will then simulate with my lungs here a little bit pressure to see how this is working. Actually, we have two glass tubes, one on this side, one on this side. Yeah? And those two glass tubes here, here that there are two levels of mercury, you see? Here is one level of mercury, here is one level of mercury, and both are currently leveled, leveled simply because both have now the ambient, the ambient pressure. Yeah? And what I'm going to do now yeah, is that I apply pressure here, here, those things. This is currently open. Uh, this is open, those are closed, these are just to relieve pressure and to connect pressure lines and so on. Those two are closed and this this one I will blow in pressure here yeah? and I will then close it and catch the pressure inside the measurement device and then we'll see how to use this. All right. So let's see where I can put you the fuel. Uh, Maybe here, ooh, this looks dangerous. Huh? Maybe, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I don't know exactly what I'm what I'm doing or what I should do. Yeah? Yeah? Maybe here. Yeah, here. Here it should be fine. I hope I hope it will, I will not crash the camera. These are the two, tube, the, the two tubes. I will now apply pressure here with the, with my lungs, yeah? and I will close this afterwards. So, <sighs> okay, good, good. We should see now a pressure difference, and really, 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 we see a pressure difference. We see now this one column is here, and the other column is here. Those two were previously leveled, all right? And to measure, I can move my ruler here, put it exactly where it should be, somewhere here, and then the other end, the other end of the of the measurement device I can pull down and then I can exactly see is this and that uh, uh. I always have to take my glasses off because I'm already a little bit too old for this. But alright, so we have 50, 60, 70, 80. 80. 80 millimeters of mercury, I just applied pressure here. Okay, 80 millimeters of mercury. This is what, what, like I said, I'm not going to extremes, I just want to show you. Okay? And if I open this knob again and, and, and also applying ambient pressure on this side, we will see what will happen with the liquid columns. Oh, you see? They are leveling each other again, yeah, all right, simply because now 
we have on this side ambient pressure and on this side our reference pressure is also ambient pressure. Yeah, so this is how liquid column gauges are working. I hope this is now clearer after you've seen it in action. <laughs> and yeah, for this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.